Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we are going to find the value of this given math Olympiad question as you can see over here. And here is our question, square root of 10,000 times 10,002 times 10,004 times 10,006 plus 16. And we are not supposed to use calculators of any kind. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And since we are not supposed to be using calculators, so we are going to use algebra. For algebra, we are going to find some kind of pattern. If we set this one equal to x, then we are going to have x plus 2, x plus 4, and then x plus 6 plus 16, but that is not going to give us any good feasible pattern to work on. So therefore, we are going to think outside the box. And let's suppose this time, this is what I'm going to suppose, let x equals to, if we suppose, some odd numbers, 10,003, then our this number 10,000, which is an even number, could be written as x minus 3. And likewise, this next number 10,002 could be written as x minus 1. And this 10,004 could be written as x plus 1. And finally, 10,006 could be written as x plus 3. So then our this given problem could be written as the square root of this 10,000. I am going to replace it by x minus 3. Likewise, I am going to replace this 10,002 by this x minus 1 times this 10,004. I could replace it by x plus 1 and finally this uh, x plus 3 I'm going to replace it for this 10,006 I'm going to put down x plus 3 and then plus uh, 16 and in this next step we are going to rearrange these terms I am going to put this x minus 3 and x plus 3 together and likewise I'm going to put down this x minus 1 and x plus 1 together and here in this next step we have rearranged our these uh, factors as you can see and now we can see that these two factors they represent the product of the difference and the sum and likewise these two factors represent the product of different and sum as well. So therefore, we are going to use this well-known formula. So thus, we can write this whole thing as this one. x minus 3 and x plus 3 could be written as x square minus 3 square is going to become 9. And likewise, x minus 1 times x plus 1 is going to give us x square minus 1 and then plus 16. Now let's focus on this part inside this radical over here. I have just copied it down over here. And now let's go ahead and use the FOIL method or we are going to use double distribution and we're going to multiply this way. So that is going to give us x square times x square is going to give us x power 4 minus x square likewise we are going to do this way that is going to give us a negative 9 x square plus 9 and here we can see we can combine these like terms so we got x power 4 minus 10 x square plus 9 so therefore our this problem over here could be written as x power 4 minus 10x square plus 9 and then we got this 16 as well 
And now let's focus on this radicand inside this radical. I have just copied it down over here. Now let's go ahead and manipulate this part over here. I can write this x power 4 as x square and then power 2 and minus 10 I can write negative 2 times this x square and then times 5 isn't it and this 25 I can write 5 square now we can see that this represents a perfect square so we are going to use this formula and this could be written as x square minus 5 and then whole square so therefore we can write this one as square root of x square minus 5 and then power 2 square and here we can see this square and square root they undo each other so we simply ended up with x square minus 5 and here I have copied down x square minus 5 on this right hand side as we are running out of space over here on the left so here we can see that our x value this one is we suppose that was equal to 10,000 3. So let's go ahead and replace this x by 10,003. I'm going to write down 10,003 square minus 5. And now let's focus on this part 10,003 square. And here I have copied it down as you can see. And since we are not supposed to be using a calculator, so let me show you how we can take care of this square. 10,003 could be written as 10,000 and then plus 3. And then we are going to use this formula to take care of this problem. And here you can see we have expanded this binomial by using this formula. And our simplified answer turns out to be 100,060,009. So now let's revert back to our this uh, problem over here. So 10,003 square could be written as this one. Let me go ahead and just copy it down. So this is going to be 100,060,009. Thousand and nine, and then I'm going to subtract this five from it. So thus, our simplified answer turns out to be hundred million sixty thousand and four, and that's our final answer. Thanks for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.